because we have an all new car here with a V8 engine, 470 brake horsepower, a 0 to 60 time of four and a half seconds, we simply have to do a launch control start, just for journalistic purposes, of course. Oh, God. <laughs> oh it's too big to do that, wow. And again, just for journalistic purposes, of course, we have to switch this car into Sport Plus mode and hurl it down a winding B-road. And another thing we're going to have to do is, well, this is an SUV, so we're just going to have to go and take it off-road. Well, the title of the video gives the game away, but have you guessed what it is we've got here? Well, what we have got here is the all-new Porsche Cayenne. Technically, it's a facelift of the third generation car from 2017, but given the vast array of changes, it's hard to argue that this is any less than a massive revamp. We see changes to the exterior design, a heavily revised interior with new tech, beefed up engine lineup and changes to the passive core spring suspension and, like this one, the adaptive air suspension offering. So, it's some facelift and there's more. So, why not join me, Roger Bailey, here in North Wales to find out what it's like and to find out what it can do. And it's like, well, we've got a big Rony V8, of course, so it's like this. <laughs> and it sounds like this. That's what I'm talking about. And when you swing the steering wheel this way and that, it handles like a Macan GTS, which is a big compliment, although this car is more luxurious. Okay, so we're going to calm things down a little bit now. We're going to turn the air suspension into luxury mode, and we're going to park up and take another good look at this car. First off, there's a new front-end lock with raised wings to give the driver that Porsche 911 outlook from inside the cabin. Matrix LED headlights are now standard across the range, the HD version having a thousand steps of brightness and variable beam patterns and shapes to suit every set of road situations. All models have big wheels which fit the arches properly and smart new rear-end improvements include a relocated number plate and reimagined tail lights. As is the norm these days, the cabin is dominated by digital displays. However, rejoice because Porsche has listened to the people and included in their new design physical switches for the air conditioning and the media control rather than pressing on with the touchscreen for everything line of thinking. The central gear lever is now gone and it's replaced by a Taycan style knurled metal toddle set behind the steering wheel, which I happen to quite like. The tactile starter control of the old Cayenne being replaced by a plastic button is, well, that's a bit less likeable. Look above the vivid digital instrument cluster to see a heads up display dead ahead of the driver and another cool feature worthy of mention is the cooled wireless phone charger compartment which ensures your mobile won't overheat when it's contactless charging. The feel inside this sizeable, crisp new cabin is that of high-end luxury with quality touch points and controls everywhere you look, which all amounts to a sumptuous feel and a promise of miles being covered in smooth riding comfort. So, how does this much heralded all new suspension affect things? So this new car rides and handles better than the previous Cayenne. And it's not just Porsche Voodoo that's doing that. It's down to this new suspension, both the coilover suspension and this air suspension. They've all been completely re-engineered and they're just on another level. It's beautiful. Beautiful also is the creamy burbling V8 engine, which always holds center stage with this growling 443 pound-feet of torque, giving punchy, sonorous responses to every single throttle input. Unfortunately, we don't have the world-beating PDK gearbox in this car. However, this automatic is doing a pretty good job of impersonating that PDK box. It's class leading. And when flicking through those gears and pushing on, body roll is kept to spookily low levels, while turning and all-round balance are expertly judged, and the whole time, cabin ambiance remains calm and unflustered. Well, the last time I got this warm, cosseting, luxury feeling out of a car, I was actually in the new Range Rover, and this Cayenne is doing a good job of imitating that car. It's so comfortable, nice and quiet, largely down to this air suspension. The air suspension in this car is an absolute must-have option. Road 
road noise. Well, road noise is an ever-present thing in Porsche cars because they all ride on massive tyres to give them the handling and the grip that we expect. However, it's not too bad in this car. It's been suppressed quite well. Road noise is not a consideration when one's SUV is going off-road, of course. And, well, for journalistic interest, once again, we really ought to try driving our Cayenne along a rally stage. And perhaps we should try possibly driving around a disused quarry which we happen to have come across. One does get the feeling that this very capable road car gets its capability for handling the rough stuff as a byproduct of Porsche's overcommitment to excellence. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is Porsches are sports cars first and foremost, yet when you put premier German engineering into a sturdy, high-riding SUV body, one with very best suspension and a punchy engine, you inherently get a competent off-road vehicle, yet it's odd that Porsche don't seem to market this car as such. Yet that really is a rally stage and it's used in the Rally of Great Britain on a regular basis. Back on the tarmac and it hits you just how much the body roll has kept us spooky low levels. Thankfully this handling competence doesn't come at the expense of comfort and refinement for our Cayenne with a twist of the switch can so easily set aside its sporting abilities for a secure, relaxed driving gait that every luxury SUV really ought to specialise in. Even with the larger wheels the isolation of bumps and ruts into the cabin is exceptional and delivers arguably the most luxurious experience you'll find in any car coming out of Stuttgart. And so we found out that the latest KN is sharper than ever before and now features an impressively modern, sophisticated interior with a smart and new overall look together with increased performance throughout the range. And in true Porsche fashion, this large luxury SUV is genuinely capable in any driving situation, be it on the road, off the road, or simply when it's wafting you along in warm, cosseting comfort. Just as rivals are sensing an open goal, seeing an aging KN, Porsche goes and delivers a big makeover that sends its Halo SUV back to the top of the pile. As is often the way, Stuttgart has ruthlessly identified areas for improvements and by facelift standards, they have thrown everything at them. The end result is a car that's better to drive, better to sit in and arguably better to look at than ever before. And in this V8 form delivers one of the best large SUV driving experience that there is. So, just like most Porsches, this new for 2024 KN just went and set an imposing benchmark. Hope you've liked this video. If you have, please click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and please leave me a comment. I read every single one and I'll reply to most. And hopefully, I'm going to see you on the next one.